Hello, and welcome to another Diecast Review. Today, I will be reviewing Glendon Castle's number 34, Love's Ford Fusion, for Front Row Motorsports. So, I'll be right back as I get this Diecast car out of the box, and we shall start the Diecast Review. Here is the car out of the box, so... Um, before we begin, uh, we will shall start this diecast review by going over the sponsors of the car. So on the hood, we have Loves. On the front bumper, we have Ford Fusion, number 34, and Front Row Motorsports. We have some contingency stickers also on the front bumper, which are Moog, Mal, Comp Cams, Edelbrock, and Sunoco. We have on the fender, we have Goodyear. We have on the uh, usual contingency stickers here on the side of the car, which are Mission X Wear, Mobile One, Sherman Williams, 3M, K&N, Lincoln Welders, Flowmaster, um, and Instaroll Rand. Uh, on the A post, we have NASCAR Race Car. We have the number 34 on the door of the car. On the rocker panel, we have Zach, uh, Lincoln Welders, Mac Tools, Racing Electronics, Sherman Williams, and K&N. We have on the um, B post, we have Ford, Loves, uh, CSX, I Break for Trains, SEM, and Jacob Industries. Then we have on no C post sponsors, on the quarter panel, we have Loves and Safety Clean. On the back of the car, we have Loves, Ford, and then I Break for Trains, CSX, of course. So uh, number 34 on the back bumper. We have Loves on the deck lid. And then we have Landon Castle's name on the back window. Loves on the roof. And along with the number 34. Landon Castle's uh, on the uh, name rail. And that's all of the logos on the car. So yeah, that's a um, really nice die-cast car. So basically, um, paint scheme-wise, it's a sim pretty simple paint scheme. Uh, we have, it's pretty much a all-yellow paint scheme. Uh, bright yellow paint scheme with a red stripe, and then we have a um, a yellow stripe, and then we have an orange stripe, and then another red stripe that goes around the entire side of the car before kind of splitting up and coming back together again here on the uh, just on the rear quarter panel and on the back bumper. So yeah, it's a really nice diecast car. Um, I don't see any errors or paint chips. Uh, on the car, um, yeah, everything except for this one little bit of tiny, you can see, uh, what looks like that isn't a, you can see a bit of a, uh, black spot there, uh, looks like something scratched the paint of the car, so yeah, um, bit of a scratch there, um, other than that, this car is completely perfect, so, yeah, I don't see anything else, so, yeah, a really nice diecast car. So, um, yeah, definitely real. I would really recommend picking this car up. It's a really cool paint scheme. Uh, it's nice to see Lionel producing diecast cars because we don't get diecast cars from like uh, teams like Front Row Motorsports or BK Racing that often. So, yeah, really cool to see this. So, thank you for watching this diecast review. Um, if I was to rate this car, I'd get rated a 9.5 out of 10. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and smash the subscribe button for more content. This is Zachary Tinkle signing out.